Hi everybody, Patrick here from PaintballProps.com, EngineeringShock.com, and EscapeRoomElectronics.com. Uh, this is our very first button craze video. Uh, it employs uh, uh, one of our beast displays, our very large uh, four-digit displays, and eight different colored buttons. And this game is programmed for a four-minute time limit, or two-minute time limit, rather, and it also talks to you. I'll, I'll show you the uh, the back of the unit, the electronics, in just a minute, but just to give you an idea of how it works, I'm going to power it up, and I'll show you uh, how the game goes. I've got the electronics from the main board connected to this set of computer speakers, uh, rather the audio output from the main, uh, the main controller board, and uh, you can use a Bose player, another stereo system, a boombox, uh, whatever, plugs the audio output from the board plugs right in. So I'm going to power it up using the uh, my uh, power bar in the back, and the buttons all start to flash. Uh, I'll show you that in just a second, but first I'm going to turn on my set of computer speakers, and I'm going to turn the volume up. And before I start, I'll quickly show you the buttons. They're all flashing. And now what I'll do is I will use the audio, audio, or sorry, the wireless key fob to start the game. Get ready to play button craze. Three, two, one, go. So now the buttons will light up in random order, and if you take too long, another button will turn on. So the goal is to hit as many buttons as you can as they light up by the end of the game. A good game will give you about 150 points. Now I can... Uh, change the uh, I can change the uh, the difficulty of this game. I can change the time frame of the game. You want to uh, fix one minute game, thirty second game, five minute game, uh, ten minute game, whatever you want. I can custom program it. I can also make the difficulty uh, much harder. So let me just show you the buttons. The idea is. Mount these buttons to your wall. I'm not sure if you can see all of the buttons. I apologize if you can't. Um, and at the end of the game, you keep doing this until time runs out, and then it tallies up your score. So let me just skip ahead to that. With 10 seconds to go, the game will soon end. The buttons are still lighting up. I'm not pressing them. This was only... I, I, I pressed between 10 and 20. Now, let us see how well you performed. Game over. Thank you for playing. So it tallies up your score and says thank you for playing. To reset the game, press the A button. And the buttons are flashing again. Press one more time to restart the game. Get ready to play button craze. I didn't hold it Three, long enough. Three, two, one, go. But very easy to operate, uh, fully customizable. Uh, let me talk quickly about the buttons. In order to mount your button, what you do is you take the button itself and the switch and you turn counterclockwise and, it come, and the uh, switch slash LED module comes out. From there, you can remove the nut from the back and the diameter that you would drill into your drywall or whatever you were using would be uh, roughly uh, nine tenths of an inch, and you can go within. Uh, you can even go a little bit more and go to a, an even inch, and it will still fit in nicely. Place it through the wall. Put the nut back in. Line up the switch so that the little white uh, button pusher right there uh, is just to the left of the yellow button pusher, and then turn so it lines up. And that's all you have to do. Pardon the lighting here, this is just an uh, introduction video. Eventually I will get to mounting this so I can give uh, a better demonstration of it in better lighting and uh, in the dark so that the buttons light up nicely. So I've got two or three power, three adapters, one's for the uh, computer speakers, one's 9 volts for the main board, and one is 12 volts for the Beast display. The Beast display was... Uh, uh, former Kickstarter campaign that campaign that was successful. Uh, this is the beast display. Everything is mounted on the inside. I realize that you can't see uh, what's going on very well, but let me just have a, a, a close-up of the main board. So I've got the buttons connected. Uh, green, white, red, yellow. Green, white, red, yellow. 
This is your RF or wireless receiver board that communicates, uh, that, that takes signals from the wireless key fob. This is a driver circuitry. This is your power supply, 9 volts in. Uh, this is your stereo output right here. The stereo cable goes into the back of the, uh, into the audio in of your computer speakers, Bose player, whatever you're using. And then the last connection, really, is this little cable that plugs into the back of the Beast display. And if you were to purchase this product at any time, I'd give you solid uh, setup instructions. But it's very easy. The buttons plug right in and are easily removed from these female USB connectors. So everything fits together perfectly. The back of the Beast display, everything comes mounted and tested. Upon, receival, uh, upon receiving this, really, you you would be set up and ready to go uh, for a, a test in a matter of 10 minutes or less. And then, of course, it would just be a matter of mounting your LEDs into the wall. Now, I've only got three audio bytes here, but I could potentially add different audio bytes if you so desire. I can make it so that the buttons change very quickly so there's a more uh, higher level of, uh, a higher level of difficulty. Uh, fully customizable. So I just wanted to introduce you to the button craze game for uh, entertainment centers. It's uh, it's a lot of fun to play, and once uh, my wife and I get around to it, we'll mount it to a piece of drywall, and uh, we'll have a real game of this uh, for YouTube. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Check us out at paintballprops.com, engineeringshock.com, and escaperoomelectronics.com. Thanks again for watching.